Hi guys, I'm Dr. Tara Tobias. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. In today's home exercise tutorial, we are gonna continue on a video that I started last week talking about this developmental sequence. So just to review, the main premise that I talked about in the last video was that when we normally develop, we go through a progression where we roll and then we crawl and then we kneel and then we walk. So there's a lot of value in that progression and it's definitely a progression that you can use whether you're learning to walk early on in life or whether you're trying to improve your mobility later on in life. And it's a great place to go back to after a stroke or any type of damage to the brain or the spinal cord. So I don't usually do this, but this week I'm actually gonna upload a video two days in a row and that is because today I just wanted to focus on how to get onto the floor and how to get back up off the floor. And so for those of you who already feel comfortable with this, then you can just wait for the video that's going to upload tomorrow, which is gonna go into activities that you can do in tall kneeling, which is on both knees. But for today, we are just gonna go over how to get onto the floor and how to get back up. Now, please, 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 I've said this before, but I cannot stress it enough. If you have not done this before, definitely work with a physical therapist the first time you do it. The worst thing that can happen in your recovery is to throw an injury on top of it. And even a minor injury, such as a muscle strain or a muscle pull, is highly likely doing this activity. Everyone's body responds differently when they get in these positions. Some people, their leg shoots out. Some people, they don't know where their leg is once they get into this position. So even a little muscle strain is really gonna set you back. So definitely, if you have not done this before, I highly recommend that you work with a physical therapist. But that being said, I'm gonna go through the most common techniques. Now, the struggle is that everyone's gonna be different. I don't teach anyone the same technique. I kinda of have to watch how each patient's tone responds to different positions and di different movements and adapt or modify the technique based on what I see. So what I'm presenting to you today is really just a general guideline. I wouldn't say that this is gonna work for 100% of the people 100% of the time. I'll be honest with you, every patient teaches me something new or something different or a different way of doing this because of their specific problems and what their body does when they move into these positions, but these are the most common. If any of you saw the video that I posted, I highlighted a patient's progress of her learning this transition of going from the mat to the floor and back up to the mat. I'll put a link for that video right here. You can see it took several tries and I helped her a lot initially. So this was not something that she accomplished even in one session. It took about two sessions. So just keep that in mind that it's, it's, it is a difficult position to get into and get out of if you have a stroke, especially if you have spasticity or any type of neglect or lack of body awareness on one side of your body. But I'm actually going to show you some clips from that video of this patient doing this. You can see slowly using the strong side of her body to go down. And then in her case, we were just trying to get onto the floor, so she went all the way down onto the floor. But the important part of this video is how she uses that strong side of her body. And then once you're there, it's pretty easy to just lean onto the surface that you are sitting on to reposition your legs if you are gonna get into kneeling, which is on, on both knees tall kneeling. And then to get back up, again, she's a perfect example of how it's a little bit different for everyone. We tried bringing her uninvolved leg forward, so her stronger leg forward, so that she could use that strong side of her body to push herself up, but she just didn't, her, un, her involved leg was not comfortable staying back in that position and accepting all of her weight, so she actually had a much easier time bringing her involved leg forward and just using that strong side of her body to push herself up and get back up onto the mat. But if you were working with me in therapy, we would probably try it both ways. 
So I hope you found that helpful. I hope that made sense. I hope that's a great introduction into what we're going to do or what the video is going to show tomorrow that I upload, which is actually going into the tall kneeling and some great activities that you can do in that position. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, just go ahead and leave those below. I will definitely answer your comment, or if not in the comments, I will definitely address it in the next video. So look forward to that video tomorrow, and until then, you all have a great day.